back in with Dennis Valera live along the JFX with more on the rush out of town. Dennis. Nikki and Rick, the biggest thing to remember is to just make time for yourself. Make sure that you're not in a rush. There are going to be around a billion and a half Marylanders traveling for this Thanksgiving holiday. And while most will be driving, some are driving to the airport as well. Whether by land, air, or sea, AAA says they expect high numbers across the board this Thanksgiving holiday. More than a week ahead of the holiday, WJZ stopped by BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport and met a couple already making their Thanksgiving trip. We're retired, so we can do that. And um, that gives us time to spend some time with the grandchildren and also start cooking. This year, AAA expanded the travel forecast, including the Tuesday before and the Monday after the holiday because more and more are traveling ahead like the Okineskis. We always seem to go like at least a week before Thanksgiving. The TSA is expecting to screen more than 18 million people for the holiday, with Tuesday, Wednesday and Sunday expected to be the busiest days. AAA says 23% more flights were booked compared to last year. If you're flying with your Thanksgiving dinner, remember, it's best to put things like your gravy, cranberry sauce and other liquids in a checked bag to abide by the 3.4 ounce rule for carry-ons. Your turkey, stuffing, and baked goods can go with you through security. The large majority of Thanksgiving travelers, around 72 million nationwide and more than 1 million in Maryland, will be driving. According to AAA, the worst times to drive will be Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon. Thankfully, gas prices are in our favor. About 20, 25 cents less than this time last year. In Maryland, they are less than last year, not by quite such a large margin but still certainly uh, welcome news. Regina Ali with AAA Made Atlantic says it's important to check your car, ensure it can make the trip. Last year, nationally, AAA came to the rescue of nearly 560,000 the stranded motorists or stranded drivers over that Thanksgiving holiday. I want to say about 13,000 of those were in the state of Maryland. For some, the record-breaking travel numbers can be a bit much. I mean, it is stressful enough. And now that it seems like everybody seems to travel for Thanksgiving. We met Mirna Rivera as she was heading to New Mexico, but for Thanksgiving, she'll be back in Maryland. While she's driven in years past, she just wants to avoid the travel headache altogether. We thought we'd go ahead, come home and have it at home. More than 2 million people are expected to get on a cruise, get on a train or take a bus to their Thanksgiving destination. More than 28,000 Marylanders are expected to be a part of that. Reporting live on your corner, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ. Dennis, thank you. Everybody.